Porsche 911 Carrera S Cabriolet PDK Automatic. Well, bless their hearts, as they might say around Porsche's U.S. headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia. Porsche officially says the 2017 911 Carrera S Cabriolet with a PDK automatic transmission and this Ford Chrono package can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds. But that number is way off. It takes just 3.2 seconds, according to our measurements. So polite Porsche is, feigning modesty like that. Surely Porsche knows that its most powerful rear-wheel drive ragdoll 911 ever can out-accelerate many other sub-4-second cars such as the BMW i8, 3.6 seconds, and the Jaguar F-Type R, 3.5. The Germans may or may not have known, until now, that it could be the far more powerful and expensive Ferrari California T, 3.3 seconds, but according to our test equipment, it does. All Porsche would say is, our values are on the conservative side. Of course they are. No one likes a braggart. Feeling the blue. Nor does this lovely sapphire blue metallic Carrera S Cabriolet shout too loudly about its general awesomeness. The only overtly aggressive visuals on our test car were the optional mad black 20-inch RS Spider design wheels, $2,370 which came wrapped in the same staggered with the Rally P0 tires, 24545 up front and 30 in back, as the 580 horsepower Turbo S otherwise, it looks like pretty much every other Carrera convertible roaming the streets of Los Angeles, where this road test took place. And there are a lot of them here, although none could beat this car in a stoplight drag unless they're late model turbos with a capital T, and even those aren't much quicker. However ubiquitous the 911 may be in L.A. If exclusivity is high on your priorities, there are better ways to spend $145,000. Our Cabriolet turned at least a few heads, mostly on account of its striking, glittering blue paint job. While nearly everyone had lots of love for the extra cost, $710, paint color, few seem to notice the new fashions, the inboard located sport exhaust tailpipes, or the vertical slots in the rear engine cover that denote this as a 991.2 model. One notable exception was the driver of a guard's red, manual equipped 991.1 Carrera S Cabriolet and his lovely blonde companion with whom we chatted during a side-by-side -side rush hour slog down Sunset Boulevard, yes, it was such the LA moment. He asked if the mid-cycle changes represented true upgrades, and he wondered if the new 420 horsepower turbocharged 3.0-liter flat-six engine was as good as the 400 horsepower naturally aspirated 3.8-liter flat-six that was making such lovely noises behind him and whether he should go PDK on his next 911. Funny that he of all people should ask. Since about four years ago, we tested a Guard's Red 2013 991.1 Carrera S Cabriolet with a 7-speed manual transmission that literally could have been his exact car, sends the blonde. In any case, we could sum up our answers to his questions with, yes, yes, and one second. We say yes to the first, because the 991.2 refresh for 2017 brought a better realized and Apple CarPlay enabled infotainment system, a 918 inspired steering wheel, and three dimensional tail lamps, among other items. Another affirmative to his second question, because whether it's the 370 horsepower Carrera or the 420 horsepower Carrera S, these new turbo 3.0 liter engines are spectacularly responsive, torquey, and sweet sounding all the way to their 7400 revolution per minute red lines. And one needn't keep them in the loftiest part of the rev range to exploit all their might, making them more tractable in daily use. There also are fuel efficiency benefits of some 12%, according to Porsche, although those can prove elusive in real-world driving. Finally, we'd answer the PDK question with one second, since that's how much time, give or take a tenth, by which this test car bested the 2013 models 0 to 60 mph, 5 to 60 mph, and quarter-mile times. 
the 3.0 liter engine's formidable 420 horsepower and 368 pounds to foot of torque beat the 3.8 liters 400 and 325. <laughs>